Really could have been more ambitious with this power. Oh well, I guess that's what happens when you have no budget! This week in the continuing saga of you guys being just plain irresponsible with your superpowers, we're all going to get a bad case of the night crawlers. So watch out, because if you blink, you'll miss it. Are these superhero name puns working for anyone? Because I have way too much fun writing them. That's right, you guessed it. This week we get to jump around with the power of teleportation. Teleportation is, of course, the ability to move matter from one place to another without having to physically move through space. It can be pretty handy on the morning commute. Of course, if, like me, you don't have a proper job, it can cut down on the trip between the couch and the fridge. However, it's important to be careful when using teleportation in this manner, as much like telekinesis, it can lead to weight gain. So, unless you want to be called the belly or chubberella, it's important to keep going with the cardio. You'll also need an auxiliary power called subconscious spatial awareness. You might not think this is very important, but it will stop you teleporting your own feet into the ground or your whole body into a wall. It's very difficult to meet people when you're stuck in a wall. Nobody wants to hang out with a man who's part masonry. (sighs) Well, this sucks. Other than that, you can feel free to have fun with your newfound ability. Of course, it's better not to think about the fact that technically your body is being destroyed and recombined in a different location, meaning that the you that ends up in your final destination isn't actually the original you, merely a exact molecular copy of the original you, which no longer exists because it has been deconstructed at a molecular level. Because that can lead to one mother of an existential crisis. Who am I? Who am I? (laughs) However, you can avoid this problem by finding out exactly how you teleport yourself. If your ability is dependent on the creation of a spatial wormhole which you then transport yourself through, it's not such a problem. Although you may find that any baked goods on the other side are less than truthful. So, in conclusion, don't get stuck in walls, don't have an existential crisis, and don't put on loads of weight. Other than that, you'll be totally fine. Till next time, stay super. (laughs) 